Welcome back guys, VST here, that's Mr. Tech, and what you can see on the screen is the Genshin Impact. Of course, I'm running this on the very best, highest setting that I can get whatsoever. But, guys, one thing is missing on the screen, and this is the FPS counter. And although the Samsung Galaxy, yeah, what do I have? And I would say rather usable FPS counter, I do believe there is another much better way for you to just get FPS counters on all of your games and not only games, any other stuff you use. So we're gonna need first two things. I'm going to guide you in this process step by step. So first things first guys, we need to go open the Google Play Store and then go and download Shizuku, all right? This is very important guys, this will allow you to run ADB commands directly on your phone, from your phone, and not from the PC, all right? So Shizuku is one thing. And then, guys, just go inside and just type Shizuku FPS inside the Google Play Store. There's going to be something called Taco Stats FPS and Perf Overlay, all right? It's early access. I um, cannot remember. Somebody um, on the channel suggested it. So if you're watching this video, man, this is for you. Sadly, I cannot remember who this was, but okay, man, this is really special credits to you guys. So, once you set up Shizuku and once you enable Taco Stats, you are going to be able to check and see the magic with your own eyes. But first things first, guys, let's just go and show you how you are able to set up Shizuku. Once Shizuku and Taco Stats are installed, guys, click on the Shizuku. You can see that he's not running. And there's going to be a rather lengthy step-by-step -step guide. So if you want to check that one and not watch my video, I'm not going to be mad at you. You can just go and do so. But you can also click here on pairing, guys. There's going to be a notification telling you that it's searching for pairing service. Now you need to enter the developer's option, scroll down, guys, and enable the wireless debugging. Go back inside developer's options, guys. Click on the pair device with a pairing code. And now, guys, you can just see the code is there. So it's... 101 107 enter pairing code guys you can just see the code there 101 107 click send and now guys shizuku pairing is successful so you can return back to shizuku and you can just start the shizuku service by clicking here start if everything works correctly and if you have paired the service guys you're gonna see something called shizuku is running now, the other thing we need to do, of course, go inside Taco Stats, guys, and start the Taco Stats service, guys. Here you go. You have this very nice, crazy good overlay with all the FPS, and you can just see, guys, this is really very accurate. Now, there are plenty of other tools, but I prefer this one because you can put this on all of your phones, and specifically when you're doing some gaming comparison, like Genshin running on, let's say, the Samsung S23 Ultra, and also Genshin here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, guys, then this is also a very good way for you to compare what is going on. And by the way, guys, you can disable, you can enable the overlay. You can also go and just do some fine tuning. You can get the frequency there if you want all the cores. You can get the temperature. We can get also the GPU temperature. And there is also many other things like battery temperature, device skin temperature, or download speed whatsoever. You're also, guys, able to even buy a full version with plenty more options. Right now, I'm just using that one. And without any further ado, guys, I want to show you, I'm going to run now Genshin Impact so that you can just see why I am in love with the Taco Stats, guys, because again, this provides very easy and very accurate FPS metering on all the games you play. You can move this around, you can position this whatever you want from all the settings, guys. So you can just see now I'm starting the game and I'm running it at, well, it's like 36, 40 FPS. When I'm inside the game, you are going to see it is really so sensitive and it can really spot all the tiny drops whatsoever. So there are really a lot of options. Right now I have the CPU allocation. I have also the CPU temperature, I have the battery temperature, and of course also the FPS. But you've seen really how powerful it is. You can get all the cores there, you can modify it. And if you decide to buy the full version, of course, you can get even plenty of other more stuff. Now, guys, since this here is Galaxy S23 Ultra, I cannot really run the Genshin Impact with more than 60 FPS, but right now you can just see I have a stable 59 FPS. How do I know? If I go outside, guys, boom, the FPS already will drop, right? Or if I start play for some time, you're gonna see that this is really very, very accurate. Now, all the fine, tiny drops, guys, are gonna be registered. And if you want to 
get FPS mid range, guys. There is no reason why not use Shizuku and also the Taco stat. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, credit to this person that told me this thing. I was not aware about the Taco stats. Enjoy, stay safe. VST over. Bye -bye.